Fact number two, Jesus died on the cross due to Roman crucifixion. If there's any historical fact that the 2200 critical scholars agree on is that Jesus died on the cross. But there are some critics and one world religion, one big one, that claim that Jesus really didn't die on the cross. He just fainted and he was resuscitated in the tomb. Or someone else was substituted for Jesus and people thought it was Jesus who was being killed, but it really wasn't. What would you say to these folks? <laughs> First of all, they don't know what a Roman lashing really looked like. I mean, there are detailed descriptions of it and uh, anybody who's seen the movie, The Passion of the Christ, has a visual picture of how much blood was involved. But it was very cruel. There were, the whip was made up of several leather strands and steel balls were attached to them that would create huge wounds on the back. And then there were pieces of bone and metal that would then rip the flesh from these wounds. And just from the lashing alone, often their internal organs, even their spine would be exposed huge strips of flesh would be hanging from their back. M quite a few of them just died from the cr lashings alone. And so it was just amazing. Jesus, by the time the lashing was over, would have been almost dead at that point, you know, but barely alive. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. And then after the flogging, right. he was up basically for 36 straight hours mm -hmm. going between Pilate and Herod and the others going back and forth for these kind of mock trials, okay? People examining him. And the whole time he's bleeding. Right. And to start it off with, they put a crown of thorns and the thorns were two inches long, right. sharp, and they put those into his head and blood was coming down all around during the 36 hours that he was going back and forth. So he's in this condition, okay? Right. It's amazing that he could even walk, right. okay? And then he had to carry that heavy cross all the way down what's called the Via Dolorosa or the road of suffering, often stumbling underneath that as well. And you can imagine the pain that that would have caused. All right, now, people have said that the Romans had invented the worst torture in the world right. to kill a man, okay? And they did this purposely, and they wouldn't even do this to a Roman because a Roman citizen yeah, was above be, this, right. okay? This was for thieves, this is for the worst people, and they wanted the public to see what would happen if they broke the law, all right? But the fact is, for Jesus, describe how they crucified Jesus. What did they do to him? Well, the uh, cross, as you know, is, is, had a horizontal and a vertical part, and his hands were nailed, but the nails didn't go through the palms right. because they would not have supported his weight. They went through a particular part of the wrist that could actually bear the entire weight of the body, and that produced continuous pain all the time. Right. And then uh, his whole weight would hang on the cross, and the only way he could even breathe, because otherwise he would just die, would be to have to push himself on the legs, and the legs had spikes through them as well. So each one of those efforts would have been unbelievable pain, and can you imagine that back that had already been lashed so badly scraping up against a rough piece of wood. I mean, it's just absolutely horrifying to think of it. So the, not only the suffering, but the physical pain and the torture continued. And then when he would have pushed himself up, suddenly the weight would drop and the sockets on the shoulders would just get completely wrenched out. And you know how long people would go through this process and eventually he would die of just asphyxiation. There was no way he could escape that. Right. The Roman crucifixion was that when a person was hanging straight down on yeah. the cross, their chest was compressed and their breathing, they couldn't breathe, right. okay? Mm -hmm. So the only way they could breathe to catch a breath was they had to push up on feet that were nailed to the cross. Right. They had to scrape up their back up right. and get enough so that they could take a breath. And then back down again. And then they would go down again. Mm -hmm. So there was a continuous up and down, right. up and down mm -hmm. until they couldn't do it any further, right. and if you couldn't breathe, then you were dead. Right. 